I guess the mistakes audio video production here at the NAMM show 2024 at the Fluid Audio booth to know more about uh, the new stuff. So new um, coaxial, right? Mm -hmm. Coaxial mm -hmm. speakers and, and also speakers with a ribbon. That's front. correct. AMT. AMT, AMT. Uh, air motion transformer tweeter. Okay. So you want me to just talk about everything, right? Yeah. So, so the FX series is a coaxial design, which has been around for about four years, but we decided to upgrade the voicing with a with more EQ filters, okay. make a, basically a flatter response. Uh, so it's going to be a V2 uh, version two, and that's going to come out uh, probably in about two months. Okay. Uh, uh, the FX50 is completed already. The FX80 still needs to be worked on. We have our, we have two subwoofers. We have this one, which is our FC10S, 200 watt, 10 inch subwoofer. Um, comes with variable phase. Um, okay. Of course, TRS and XLR inputs. It also has a cool feature called um, flat versus a, 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 a boost. So there's one a, a flip a switch and you get a boost at 80 hertz for dance music and stuff like yeah. that. So nobody really does that. We decided to add that feature. So that's our sub. Our other sub is an eight inch sub called the F8S. Uh, that's also 200 watts, but an eight inch driver. So we'll move on, moving yeah. right along. I can talk about our interface. So this is our yeah. SRI2 recording interface, two in, two out, 24, 192. So two mic pre's on the front. There's actually two outputs, and we have a, a speaker AB switch. Oh, great! It, because we're a speaker company, and we want people to audition speakers yeah. versus uh, versus other people. Um, but all the traditional stuff. It's got the you know line in instrument in, 48 volt for mic, a big beefy aluminum knob. This isn't plastic. Yeah. This is aluminum. It's pretty beefy. That's great. And it's that really, goes, really great. Yeah, that goes for one ninety nine. That's been out for about three years. Still selling great. Yeah. What it, do we talk it's about? It's basically this? A, a common center. It's not only uh, audio interface because you can also adjust the monitors levels. Right. Right. Uh, it's yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. It's sort of like has some aspects of a controller, a, yeah. a speaker controller in a studio, which is handy. Okay, but it's a great sounding interface. So let me move on over to. Uh, we talked about this, but let me just dive in a little bit more. Yes. So this is 110 watts uh, per side. This is 90 watts per side. Class D amplification. Also has DSP filtering Inside. and okay. and the crossover. Front ported, um, and the coax has all the benefits of a coax, which is a point source monitoring. You get great imaging great phase coherence and it just cleans up a lot of the weird stuff that you hear in two ways moving also on the studio during during the mixing it's yeah, yeah, great yeah. because you can listen always the same stuff correct correct and coax is you know the where where the tweeter would be up here in an ordinary design you can make the cabinet a little bit smaller yeah so you know so many of these eight inches you see are like you know this this tall in your studio <laughs> yes. so it's a compact eight this is an eight inch eight inch driver yeah okay. yeah ah our, our stands so we also have our speaker monitor stands you yep. assemble them yourself uh there's a two pieces of mdf and then and then the plastic legs which you assemble with rubber with rubber feet that are Okay. soft durometer for damping and it and you can assemble it two different ways the short way which you see here and then it has okay. longer it has a longer right. leg to make okay. it higher so you you either assemble it the short way or the tall way whichever way you want and uh these, but you can also angle yes the angle comes in the rubber okay. so there's there's a bunch of different rubber pieces in there that give you different angles okay right you stick them right on so ds5 and ds8 Okay, so here you have basically the woofer and the mid-range together. Correct. And then the tweeter Correct. is the coaxial point. Correct, yes. Okay. This goes down to about 40, 45 hertz, the woofer, um, and then it crosses over, I think around 1.8 kilohertz to okay. the tweeter. And yeah, yeah, this goes for the woofer in the mid-range. Wow, great. Then here, 
So let's move on to some newer stuff. So this is the Image Series. This is our Image 2, which is out on the market now. We launched it this year. It's it's a, a big, way. It's a big behemoth of a speaker. So we in the development, we were calling it the beast because we'd never <laughs> developed anything so big and heavy. And picking this up when you're testing it. So anyway, so the a AMT ribbon uh, tweeter is the main selling point. I'll switch it over here so you can see it. In, in a horn that's pushed back and sort of time aligned with the mid range. The mid range is a five and a quarter with an aluminum cone. Uh, aluminum cone. Also has a shorting ring in the magnet structure, if you know what that yeah. is, to minimize distortion in the, in the magnet structure. For the low frequency, there's two powered eight inch per side. So these are powered 225 per side. Okay. Eight. And then let's see if we can do this. Maybe you can get a shot of this. Oh wow. So, so the usual the usual kind of suspects, there's TR, TRS in and XLR analog inputs. So there's also digital input, okay. AES and SPDIF. You may be wondering what that USB input is for. That's for our collaboration with Sonoworks. We have okay. uh, a collaboration with them where you can export the calibration file of your room and upload it right to the back of okay. the speaker. So, so the calibration is, is running from the speaker instead of from software, software. in your DAW. Yeah. Okay. So that's, that's that. There's some also some trim functions, high frequency, low frequency. Yeah. What about Atmos? It's perfect for Atmos. Uh, we have actually one set up in Korea that just went online. There's one in Norway. I think there's one here uh, it, too in the US. But yeah, people are using it for Atmos. The only challenge with a speaker like this is it's so big and heavy. How do yeah. you mount it? So first we had these mounting okay. things on the side which unscrew and doing it this way. Okay. And we heard back from our customers that no, that's not the right way to do it. So now we do it this way. Okay. And we have there's a bracket that kind of sandwiches it from the top okay. and the bottom. I so like also the white color, white finish. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we only made one pair, so they're not in production yet, but okay. if, people can special order them if they want. Okay. Ah, yeah. Okay, so you can also customize the color for the customers. Sure. Okay. Sure. Great. Um, so this is the old style mounting system, so ignore that. Okay. And then we have our image image one, which is the smaller, smaller version of the image. And that's a four inch mid-range and two side firing sixes. Um, and same total power. How, how they works the uh, the woofer? So when one is pushing, the other is no. They're is pulling? both both out there. Both together. Yeah, both out okay. at the same time. Okay. Yeah, as if as as if they're pointing directly okay. to you. They're pointing out, but they're going okay. they're going out. Yeah. And okay. then we just fix the phase relationship in the crossover yeah. because this is 180 degrees off. Yes, this. of course. Um, or 90 degrees, I'm sorry. 90, uh, yes. So, so uh, yeah. Okay. We, thank you so much yeah, for the time. Yeah, thank you. I, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. We have we have our Focus headphones as yeah. well. <laughs> so this is not just our headphones. It's a headphone mixing system. It comes with software called okay. Real Phones from D-Sonic, which basically emulates different studio sizes, emulates different monitor sizes. So there's a, there's a lot you can do within the Real Phones D-Sonic okay software. There's a little bit about it on the front here if you want to just shoot that. Um, so maybe for people that do not have the space of a studio, you can simulate the studio in right. your headphones. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Probably the last thing to show you is our Strum Buddy, which I know has been reviewed in Italy many times because there's a few guitar players that really like this. So it's basically just a guitar amplifier that sticks to your guitar and you plug it in. <laughs> And then there's effects that you control from here. So your electric guitar gets powered. It's not extremely loud. You're not going to play a big show with this or anything. But for yourself, when you're sitting on the couch and playing, strum buddy. Right. That's what that. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah. Thank you. So guys, you have the link in the description to know more about free audio. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.